Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Peglin. This time with a little bit less frustration because we're not playing as Peglin. Screw Crucible 15. And honestly, I'd rather play Crucible 15 as any of the other three starting characters. We're well, not starting characters, but any of the other three characters because the Baladin, the Roundrel, and the Spinventer, they are all better than that character, the base Peglin character. So, we're gonna play as the Spinventor, the Baladin, the Roundrel. We're gonna be leveling up our Crucible level. And I think with these characters, we could probably, uh, F, by the way, F in chat. We could probably get all the way through to like, Crucible 20 pretty easily, pretty straightforwardly. Because the, the difficulty in the Peglin character, the base Peglin character, is that you don't have access to any sort of combat buffs. You don't have anything that can actually help you to do more damage. Literally, Spinventor does way more damage on their orbs, on every orb that you add to the deck. So it's, by default, kind of a better character. Or at least an easier character, maybe? Roundrel applies combat debuffs. This is a lot of money to get. The Baladin starts with shield every combat, so you're not gonna get ground down as much. I uh, will let the pebble sink in. You know what I would love? I would love if there was a... We need to go to the left. How, do, how, do, how did I do this reliably in the past? <laughs> You, you want it to land on the, like, just barely on the left side of the, the bouncer, I think. No, that's too much. Because you, you want it to stay on the one side. Ah, oh, whatever. Duplicate an orb. Nope. This is a bit of a, of a whiff to start a run with, but you know what? That's okay. <clears throat> anyways, 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 anyways. Yes, every other character versus, uh, compared to Peglin is better. Because every other character has some sort of a advantage to the combat. Peglin doesn't. I kind of wish there was a relic in the game that was like, start each battle with 10 ball work. Like that to me sounds like a pretty good starting relic. Like I would totally take that if it showed up. Because in Peglin you get ground down very quickly. You take a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. It's hard to... It's hard to want to spend money upgrading, uh, or rather healing instead of upgrading, because you want to upgrade. You want to be able to get stronger. Makes me a little, uh, a little confused as to what the ideal, like, strategy is in this game. Like, should you spend way more money healing over the course of runs? I feel like that's bad, but I suppose you need to, you need to survive somehow. Oh god. That's too many bombs, man. That's too many bombs, man! I don't mind this slime fight. This slime fight is A-OK. -okay. And man, thank god we don't have the uh, starting crucible penalty of enemies get double actions, because man, that is... That's annoying if you're trying to do a thin deck. And I'm not saying we're trying to do a thin deck, but we only have three orbs in our deck. If I can remove a pebble, the other pebble is gonna be stronger because it's it's a one of a kind. And because of our spin vent originality, it'll get plus one, plus two if we remove one. Whatever, hit me, I don't care. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. We're gonna take some damage, but that's the last slime. Maybe what we should do is not refresh as much. Maybe we should actually try and uh, do some direct damage instead of reloading constantly. That's the problem with a thin deck in this game. In no other game that I know of that's a like deck builder, when you refresh your deck, the enemies get a free turn. That's, that's strange, it's unique in uh, Peglin, and it kind of, kind of penalizes having a thin deck, which is usually not the case. 
makes me a little confused as to, well, what's the ideal build strategy in this game? Do you want lots of orbs? Few orbs? On Crucible 15, when enemies get a free action every time you reload, that's rough. Why did, how did you bounce out? Come on. We're gonna take a little bit more damage, but that's fine. I don't mind taking a little damage. I really want the coin though. Yeah, hit me, good job. Um, we'll get a relic out of this. We're, you know, we only took 50 damage. That's nothing, that's nothing. We could get a Two's Company, we could get a Swolt Orb. I mean, I think we want either at this point. More damage slime is pretty okay, but we don't have any way of actually improving the damage of the slime. Swolt Orb to upgrade the peg's hit. Very good with slime, and we tend to have slime. Yeah, okay. I'll add a Swolt Orb, it's already a 3-6. Healing for every 15 pegs hit, very nice. Very nice indeed. You only need one HP to win, so 50 damage wasn't needed anyways. Yes and no. Wow, we're gonna have a good pebble. Yes and no, because you do want... Oh my god. You do still want to have enough health so that you heal as much as possible after the boss fight, because at a certain point you don't heal to full anymore. Bombs and Ply Spin Infection 1. That's not bad. It's actually like pretty okay. A little bit of bonus damage never hurt anybody. Bombs detonated while navigating provide more money. That's good and all, but I want to go fight this elite because I'm silly. Just don't be the, uh, the three plants the same one. Honestly, the three plants may have been okay. Because our bombs would uh, spinfect them. You know what we should do? We should try to spinfect this guy so that the he spawns slimes that are covered in spinfection. But I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. Because I think we'd have to apply more than one spinfection. You know what I would love? I would love that uh, upgrade that makes Spinfection go up. That would be insane on this fight. There we go. Every... Let's go for it. Let's go. Oh, every, uh, every bomb would apply an infinite number of Spinfection to this enemy that would scale up and kill all the slimes immediately. That's, that's a great combination if you could get it. Our damage bonus is currently at times two. Fantastic. How about we kill some slimes? I mean, a times two damage bonus is pretty okay. 60 damage on a basic ball. Basic balls! You hit me once. This is way better than the last uh, time we fought this elite. Instead of taking 50 damage, we took like three. I'll take a balm. I will upgrade that balm. Refresh is crit or Echo 10. <clears throat> Our damage is pretty good. Echo 10 could be effective. There, I, um, I've i actually learned quite a lot about Peglin recently. I, I looked up some stuff on the wiki. I did some like thought experiments. Echo Chamber is really good for any of those orbs that heal you. Like think the, the Necrobancer, the one that hurts you and then you heal and then it'll do damage to all the enemies if it's level three. Echo 10 means that that orb starts with a base amount of damage that is actually gonna be healing you. Same thing with the docked orb. It'll start with a base amount of damage. Uh, the same thing with the safety net. The safety net is actually a pretty good relic because it means that those orbs have a base amount of damage that they can scale with. And, and you're always gonna get some value from them. Uh, 
Echo 10, really good with an egg because the egg will heal you if you echo the damage into the next egg. So there, there are reasons to take something like Echo Chamber more than I previously thought possible. So I might try to take an Echo Chamber here and see if we can get any synergies to go along with this. Our damage is also kind of high. So Echo Chamber immediately, I'm like, okay, that's just good damage. I hate this fight being so late in the game because this is like what you should fight first. This should always be the first fight in any run of Peglin. Because <laughs> it's just, it's just slimes. This doesn't need to be here. Right before facing the final boss, although it's a good reprieve, I suppose. Currently at times two. We don't have a lot of missing pegs from the board. I wonder what the, how the math of this works. Swoltorb, ref, refurbish orb, upgrades pegs but does no damage. Reorbanizer, I've, I've started to think reorbanizer could be pretty good. Um, I don't really think we need it right now because we kind of have a slime swolt orb build, which I'm really enjoying. So I think I'm just going to go for Balm, uh, which will work really well uh, with this upcoming boss, having some way of healing a little bit during the fight is going to save us a lot of, of hassle. Because this upcoming boss fight, this is one of those fights where it just takes a long time. It is a, it is a long fight. Currently times one. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on this. I want to see when it goes uh, to a higher time scale. Still times one. Still times one. I'm gonna get the money too, of course. But of course. Times one. Is is it does it only go from times one to times two? Like there's no in-between or something? <laughs> like I'm trying to understand. There it goes, it goes to times two. So it's only times one or times two. I thought this would be an increasing damage multiplier, e.g. a steady scale. That's not that's not what this seems to be. I will definitely take a morbid orb. I actually really like morbid orb. Who is this? Who is this Abe? Well, I don't like the Morbid Orb version that's like... It only hits dead pegs and it upgrades them. I don't like that one. I like Morbid Orb. Because it just hits the dead pegs and we might have a lot of dead pegs on the board. When a crit is triggered, deal your orb's crit damage times number of crits to all enemies. The Norse says it gets to at least 3x. Ooh. But it seems like one of those relics where it says increasing damage multiplier. And while it doesn't say a continuous scale, I would assume that it would be a continuous scale damage multiplier, not, oh, uh, 1 to 2. I think it would be 1, 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2. But that's not the case. I'm a fool. I've been made a fool. Didn't get as much healing slime as I would have wanted. That's okay. We will live. Really wanted it to hit the bomb. Dude, this guy having 1200 HP, it's way easier than him having 1500 or whatever the heck it is. 1600 on the high crucible level. Because F that noise. Like, Morbid Orb, it can bounce around a lot. I actually think it could be, like, a fantastic orb. Secretly, maybe not so secretly. All right, you should be dead pretty soon. Hit the bomb. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How do you miss so much? Um, probably 
go to this side. Yeah. Not my favorite boss fight. Yeah, the Morbid Orb though, it can it can really bounce around a lot, which helps on a lot of the more annoying layouts, I think. I like having it around. Now Splatorb Rub Orb at a 510. I have to add it. I love the rub orb. Rub me, baby, one more time. Let's upgrade Morbid first, though. All orbs get plus zero, plus four, but there are fewer refreshes, which synergizes with the bag of orange pegs, and it synergizes a little bit with the Morbid orb. But not everything else. Plus two, plus zero, but lower crits. More refreshes. Huh. Well, more refreshes is an anti-synergy with the bag of oranges, giving us a up to double damage multiplier. One fewer refresh means that we will have no refreshes on the board. <laughs> I kind of want to grab it because I think it would be funny. But we want to refresh with the Swolt Orb and the slimes. So actually, you know what? I think we go for the leaf. It's gonna ruin the oranges, but I think that's okay. Time for a bomb orb run. I would definitely love to have more things here that give me bombs. Because I have the uh, relic that makes them apply poison. If we can stack up a lot of poison, maybe get the relic that increases poison. It's poison to all enemies, man. That's not too bad. This could be a good layout for a Morbid Orb, like all of the moving pegs just constantly hitting it repeatedly. Could be a good layout for Balm. Keep, keep stacking up the, uh, the healing slimes. The slimes. I can't believe you lived through that, jerk. This is so much easier than the other runs that we were doing. <laughs> like, comparing this to the, uh... The Crucible 15 as Peglin character. Oh my god. Like, I can take anything I want. I can take orbs. And they're all good enough. It's so funny to me. Lightning Slime. It's a 2-4 orb with a lightning slime capabilities. Do we want this? No. Instead, I will check the map. There's a shop to the right, but two relics on the left, and I will upgrade my rubber slime. I do not want... Oh, no. I do not want the... Uh, the lightning slime, because I, I want my orbs to hit the pegs, because it will heal us with popping corn, and it will apply more slime. If the things hitting the orbs is the lightning slime, we're not getting the effect that we want out of it. So I think that is the deciding factor there. Prepare for a lot of bring, 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 bring. Mason the Wolf, welcome. Yay, more peglin. Yay, more peglininging. Absolutely. I don't really, like, because of the refreshes, it's hard for me to hit the The bombs. This is that's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. It'll do a little bit of damage. Well, we're gonna take some, but that's okay. Got another bomb. Didn't get those bombs. It's <laughs> Man, I hate that the bombs they 
uh, resist damage, sorry, the shields resist damage from the bombs themselves. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Ashen Ran, welcome as well. Hello. Downgrades each peg hit. Overflows 1015. We got a Swolt Orb. Overflow a Mega Orb? You know, we can always discard it if we don't want to shoot it. Taking an Omega Orb. For the most Omega action. I want to add orbs to the deck right now. We have, uh, we've got a good opportunity to put stuff in the deck. Anything that we add is going to be plus one, plus two. We have only one pebble, so if we want to remove something later, we probably can. And a Swolt Orb. A Swolt Orb is going to upgrade a lot of pegs quickly. Which maybe will synergize with that Omega Orb. This is a situation when we probably want to fire the Omega Orb, because there's a lot of... A lot of incoming nonsense. And the raw damage on the Omega Orb, if it can hit like a thousand damage, it can kill everything. So I'm gonna go for it, man. I'm gonna go for it, man! Well, you know, it killed one enemy at least. <laughs> Ah, uh, it didn't work too well. We we need like a a real piercing orb, but we we haven't found one yet. So I went for the omega orb, and I regret everything. Luckily, we have good healing. But yeah, we'll we'll have to add like a real piercing orb, I think, at some point. Or a relic that gives piercing would also be pretty effective. That's a, a bad shot, but that's okay. How are you still alive? Bombs are piercing, just gotta get a bomb orb. Yeah, you know, I, I would... I might take a bomb orb. I didn't think about it. You made me think about it. But I might take a bomb orb. Because you're right, that would be a pretty good way of applying not only piercing, but AoE technically. <clears throat> Give me a Swoltorb upgrade. Make my orbs better. And then let's go and hopefully land left and uh, fight an elite and get a free relic. The item that makes bombs red bombs. We might be able to afford that with popcorn and a balm. Oh my God, we got free, uh, free relics out of the chests. It's fantastic. The Alchemist Cookbook. Would you look at that? Free bombs. We're now a bomb build. Luckily, there's at least bombs by default here. We didn't get any of them. They exist somewhere. Free relic and free 25 gold. Wait, really? I didn't realize you get gold from uh, the freebies. What the hell happened? Oh, the bomb de the bomb activated everything around it. Oh, right, 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 okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Jesus. <laughs> Life comes at you fast, brother. Brother. Can't believe that missed. Didn't kill you at all brother.
All right, the bombs, they're working. Shock absorber? Dude. Yeah, that's, that's good damage. There's a shop coming up. Let's save a little bit of gold. Bombs deal more damage. The bomb synergy begins. I want all the money. You know what you have to do, says the username. What do I have to do? Oh, the healing relic. I I think we take it. The bomb the red bombs might be a little bit rough, but this is healing. We don't even need Balm anymore. Oh, this, ah, you gotta take it. It's one of the best relics in the game. Just don't throw 25 at a time. Well, we're on the Ascension where 10, I think, kill us, technically. So we have to be even more careful than that. Painting, or not paintings, mirrors can be a bit problematic, though. Luckily, there's only two in this combat and not four. Well, we, didn't, we never had one with four, but with the Elite and then the Mirror, we've had four before. <laughs> oh yeah, it does reduce the self damage. How interesting. Oh, we also have Echo, so Omega Orb on Echo is not bad, but a little bit of free damage. Pumpkin could be good. Um, this to me is an upgrade. No, 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 it's a, it's a nothing. It's a go to the shop, you, you freaking dumb butt. It worked! <laughs> we got it. Two more crits. One more crit. Uh, Muse circle or spinesse? Yeah, I'll, ooh, ooh, summoning circle? I still want to remove the pebble. Yeah, I still want to remove the pebble. More crits is always good. But random uh, spinness and new circle on refreshes is also really good because we're going to hit those all the time. See a fun orb? I already got it. Uh, so instead of more crits, I'm gonna go for the refresh synergy. Considering we took the leaf, we'll take this, and uh, you know, give me a left path. Whatever, I don't care. See how much I don't care. When you lose health, reduce the amount lost by one. It's so good. It's so good. Bum, bum. You know what I need is I need the orb that creates bombs and then we can synergize with the shock absorber. We could have a deck that's like two orbs. All right, right now we haven't fired any bombs, so we'll skip that. Could you get in there please and hit... This bomb has a four in it, what does that mean? Does that, would that make the bomb explode like four times? God, I hope so. The Nora says, bomb runs are by far the most satisfying archetype in Peglin. Well, they're a good archetype because they give you crowd control, I think. That's the secret there, Cap. You know what we need? We need the relic that makes, um, We need the relic that makes the refreshes have an AoE. That would be fantastic. Attacks get plus one, plus one. Sure, why not? I do have a lot of orbs I would like to remove at this point. There we go. Because we have been adding orbs and now I think we can start thinking about removing orbs. 
Like for instance, do we need Omega Orb if we have bombs and the bombs we want to create in order to make more, make the, the sh shock absorber better? Maybe we want to get rid of the Omega Orb. We could also upgrade, but I think instead of upgrading, I, I think I want to remove this. I really do. I don't want to downgrade the pegs. Especially on a fight like this, we need the pegs to be upgraded over time. We can't really afford them to be downgraded. We can apply a lot of... We're applying more spinesse than we did on the run where I was trying to apply spinesse. <laughs> God damn it. Like this is this is an incredibly strong run we've got here. I think Morbid Orb is gonna crush. Uh Shock Absorber is already a 25-25. Yeah, and he's dead. Alright, beautiful. How is this so much better than the Ascension 15 runs? I want to know because I'm I'm annoyed. <laughs> it was so easy. <laughs> it was so good. Hate this game. All orbs activate pegs an additional time. It's actually really, really good for pretty much everything. Uh, the activation will not count for hitting. Well, it should count for the popping corn because it literally says activated, but it won't work for the slime application. It will or will not work for... Oh, this is on refresh. That doesn't matter. Um, activated, hit. Because like sometimes it says hit, sometimes it says activated. Yeah. And this is just double damage, which is nice. You're like half the crucible. Yeah, it is. It's not Ascension 15. That's why. Yesterday, Abe was losing it, and today, Abe is winning. I always win. Ashen ran. You're confused. So, activating an additional time. Well, hold on. Swoltorb will only upgrade the peg once. Is that correct? Because this is only hitting it once, it's not hitting it twice. The activation will work for popcorn but nothing else. I don't like Heavy Hand because I don't like how it feels like the game's a little bit inconsistent about hitting and activating. I think that th it needs to be a little bit clearer as to what works when and why. Because th some of the relics are on activation, some of them are, are on hit. Why? What? Why is? Why are these different when they're f fundamentally they're similar? But why is popping corn heal one for every fifteen activated, but the ingot is heal one for every five hits? You know why is that a difference? So I think we'll just go for the wand because we heal passively, and then this will double our damage output. Bacon Mage says, saw a video where a person had potion balls and weighted chip. They got so many balls in the times two slot. And the next ball had 300,000 worth of echo. I find that to be really a cool use of the game mechanics because potion balls and uh, balm, they say deal no damage, but secretly the game is still counting score, which I find super interesting. Like technically this has a, a, a number on it. It's not a zero zero. It's a an X Y. I just don't. We just don't know what the X Y is. I, I find that to be a cool, strange, like reasoning for the game mechanic. There's some cool effects there. Anywho, let's murder these mushrooms. I guess the uh, bomb does does damage. I don't know why I thought this wouldn't. Um, yeah, let's go hit the crit. Ow. 
Ow. That should work. It missed the bomb, come on. They're getting poisoned though. Um, some refreshes. There you go. We still need some sort of piercing. We don't, oh, same thing. We don't have piercing technically. Um, the bombs are, are piercing right now. Eh. Upgrades each peg hit plus two to the assemble. This would be a good one to get fully upgraded if we could, but we've got a lot to do. And we have a lot of uh, upgrades that we need to do. We need to uh, upgrade the orbs that we currently have. I'd like to go to a shop, maybe buy a good relic. Okay, we have Summoning Circle Shock shock Absorber coming up. Okay, it's getting better. It's an 8-7, so that does it. <laughs> do it again, do it again. All right, that was not the most damage we could have ever done. I love seeing how much self damage we take, but it's it's really not that much. Now, Restorb would give us some max health to work with. I don't think we need it though. This boss this boss is gonna be countered by our build. So I think we'll just upgrade the big bomb. Go from there. Okay. Oh God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? <laughs> oh God. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so good. <laughs> it's a 37, 34. Ow. Ugh. Oh, and we're at full health. Bye bye health. And then hello health. We healed 50 in one throw. In like one second of one throw. Good God. Now I got I got a question. So the the shock absorber, it doesn't it doesn't reduce the damage when it's in our inventory, right? It reduces the damage when we throw it from this from the red bombs, right? It would be really cool if, if orbs could give you passive abilities. I would love that. Like, passively reduces damage by one, or something like that. When the board is refreshed, deal damage to all enemies. But I don't think that's how it works. Oh, okay. Pegboards start with double bombs. Uh, I'm scared. We need to reduce bomb damage even more. Okay, there's not a lot of red bombs, not a lot. But if I discard, we get Shock Absorber immediately. So maybe we can reduce that self damage. And we only got like two of them, so that didn't work as well as I was hoping it would. Ow! We're okay. Still a, like, high damage balls. I mean, this one started with a couple of thousand on it, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go to the shop in a second. No! I really wanted to fight that. Oh God. I mean, do you just do it? Yep, that's good enough. Hit for uh, 1600 because it fired like 10 bombs. 
The only thing that can kill us is a fight that starts with 30 red bombs. That's the only thing that kills us. I want a two's company. We have a, we have enough slime from the potion vault. I don't think we actually need two's company. Like, I really don't think we need it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. 50 50. Okay. Like, what? There's no way I'm making it to the right side. Heal one every time the board is refreshed. Echo orb. There's our piercing. I'll add an echo orb. I'll remove. Did I'm removing a rubble orb? We haven't even upgraded it yet. And then give me. X is the number of times you lost. At the start of your turn, apply damage reduction slime to pegs. This could enable us to not take as much damage to the bombs. That's something to consider. I do like cookie. I'm gonna I'm gonna take damage reduction slime because I'm very scared. I'm scared of just like dying. Let's go middle path and we'll see what, what happens. Do I want to fight the elite and get a chest or go to the shop? It's a lot of combat. Uh, I think I'd rather go right. We'll get enough money to, that we can buy a relic and then we don't have to get into so much combat, hopefully. Because I, I do worry about the possibility of, you know, big red bomb fights. Why is everything dying? Like, why why is everything dying when I just throw the orb once? Do I have something that's doing passive damage? Oh, the refilla buster! That's what's doing it. Oh, I should not have spent my money. I forgot. <laughs> Literally forgot what I was trying to do. Ah, oh, crap. I have a hundred bucks, though. How did I get so much money? What is going on? I just had no cash. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna watch what I just recorded. How did I go from like 50 bucks to 160? Did I pick up a hundred coins on that combat? I don't think I did. Hold on a second. Okay, I walked into the fight with 26. I left the fight with 55, and then I had 30, and then I hit one bomb, which gave me up to 58, and then I and then I got 106 for no reason. What? Okay, I, I had 58 plus four. I hit a bomb, and then I got plus 44. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, I have uh, I have a thing. Hold on, where is it? Bombs detonated give you more money. That's how I got so much cash. Thank you, thank you. Stonks, says the Nor. Yeah, we got stonks and I completely forgot about stonks. <laughs> you said so yourself. Remove half? Oh, excuse me, I don't want to remove half my orbs. I like my orbs. <clears throat> oh, more bombs, huh? Oh, I, I like more bombs. Might go for the thing that gives me more bombs. That's pretty good. Refresh the board when fired. Convert pegs hit into refreshes. Nah. No bomb orb? Yeah, but we have enough, I think. Uh, I don't think we want an Orbery. I just want to upgrade AoE. Oh, we're there. What a fun run. What a fun game when you're not on Crucible 15, right? What the ever-loving hell is going on? They're, they're 1,500 health dead already, all of them.
done. <laughs> potion, potion bolts, the strongest orb. That's, this is a, a mirror match from like my first run of Peglin. I think I remember killing QR code boss with a bunch of bombs too. Well, there you go. <laughs> And it was the same thing too. It was a stream of bombs on the boss, just bleh, completely breaking the sound of the game. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, the, the first run, it was a long bomb stream. All right, well, that was a fun run. Uh, turns out game is still fun when you're playing a good character. And I stand by that. I think base Peglin is garbage because he doesn't have any combat ability. Give him a combat buff, like plus one discard, he's usable. Well, although it's that's still harder on um, on level 15, I guess. I don't know, give him a longer aimer. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Peglin.